Every year I like to do some kind of advent calendar, and I found this one on Amazon, which was interesting, but I wanted to do my own. So I'll show you how I made this Santa Claus one right here on Filament Friday. Filament Friday is brought to you every week by the generous donations of my Patreon supporters. I started with this Santa Claus face that I found on Thingiverse by user 4Freka. I imported that into Tinkercad and then I went to work modifying it to the way I wanted. Now he had a little button nose for it but I just put my own in there and then I added the days till Christmas words on top of the hat. Very basic, very easy stuff in Tinkercad. Turned out these words will be the nemesis of this print, but I'll talk more about that in a bit. Then for the tread, just use a block and then a whole block to cut that out. And then the numbers themselves, the number blocks, were just boxes that I put numbers on as holes. Now I had to make sure I get the right numbers. I had zeros, ones, and two on both blocks, and then seven, eight, and nine on one, and three, four, five on the other. And then for six, I could just flip the nine over. And this gave me all the numbers I needed to do 25 days down to zero. So once I had all this in place, and this really didn't take that long, I just grouped everything together. And I'm just going to reverse the process here just by hitting the undo button. And when I was done, I had my Days Till Christmas Santa with a tray and two number blocks. So now it was ready to send to my slicer. And then I'm going to print these on my Prusa MK2S because it tends to print detail much better. I sliced the design in Simplify 3D and it actually caused some trouble with the letters at the top. So I ended up printing quite a few of these and testing a lot of different setups. The first one that I did, I just did a 30% fill and I really didn't get the settings right for the fine detail. In the advanced tab, I went back and fixed that and improved it, but it still wasn't that good. Some people have told me to print it straight up, and I did that. The letters came out good on the top, but everything else looked like crap. I don't know why the top of this thing was so rough, but it wasn't going to work. So I went back to Simplify 3D, and I'll show you. First of all, I had to manually put supports in this thing. So I went to Customize Supports. I clicked Generate Automatic Supports, and nothing happened. So I said, oh fine, I'll just do them myself. And I love this feature about Simplify 3D. I can just manually put supports wherever I want. So I put it across the tray here. That was good to go. And then I just needed to edit the process settings. And I chose my Prusa MK2. I did a 0.2 layer height. And I went 100% fill. That seemed to help. I did one shell. Temperature-wise, standard temperatures speed wise I probably was a little fast for what it was doing at 60 millimeters per second but in advanced tab I made sure that I allowed single wall extrusion and single extrusion fill and that made a big difference and I did prepare to print and even once I did this now I was getting very uh, critical of what I was seeing but the slicing looked a lot better even though I still had spots here where you could see there's gaps or not fill I don't know why it doesn't fill that in. These letters aren't that small, but it told me it would take five hours and 33 minutes. I said, whoa, whoa, that's way too much. So I lowered it to 0.3 layer height rather than 0.2. And I got the same kind of results, but it told me it's going to print in three hours and 47 minutes. So that's, that's acceptable. I could do that. So I did that, and this was the result. The 100% made a big difference, but I still wondered, what if I did this in Prusa Control, which is the slicer for the MK2S. So I downloaded the version for Mac, I sliced it at the same settings, a 0.2 layer height, a 30% fill, and then I went through the layers. It didn't look right, but I sent it to the printer anyway, and it just did not recognize the Santa at all. You see the letters at the top. So I had to take the file, go to makeprintable.com, and it repaired it. It found some errors or flaws in it, it fixed them, and then I downloaded that and brought that into Prusa Control and went back to the same settings. Now, it's it was going to take a long time at 0.2, so I went at 0.3 layer height, 30% fill. I didn't do 100%, I wanted to see how this one would do at 30%. So I ran the generate uh, G-code file on this and it said it would take about the same time at the 0.3. If I need to go to 100%, I will, but look at this thing, it printed beautifully. This is 30%. 
If you look close, you can see the letters still aren't perfect. There's some gaps, but this is at 30%, not 100%. And to be fair, I took that repaired file, ran it through Simplify 3D again at the 30%, and I got the same crappy results. So clearly, Prusa Control does a better job with fine detail. So that's the best I could do on my Prusa MK2S. If I had more time, maybe I'd try Cure or some other slicers. If you want to try that, I'm going to put the files in Thingiverse so you can try it. If you get better results, let me know in the comments below. So that's it for this week. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of these videos that are popping up. And if you want to help support the channel, a dollar a month to Patreon. And if nothing else, click on that Chep logo over there and subscribe. That's it for this week. I'll see you next time on Filament Friday.